continuing with our terminology crash course what we have here that's first of all on the offensive side of things there are different uh, different types of uh, security elements that uh, uh, comprise security postures right so let's let's say we have uh, an application an online banking application for example that's a very simple and uh, uh, well understood example okay so for that we have different threats uh, no matter whether the creators and operators of this application uh, relate somehow to the threats they they exist they are very potential but still they are somewhere and uh, they may potentially harm the application so for example black hat hackers they exist uh, no matter what uh, application owners think about them right uh, and uh, the guys who uh, choose to attack this application they become threat agents okay so they uh, imply this threat upon the object upon the application uh, in order to do that, that efficiently they have to find vulnerability okay so if malicious hacking is a threat and malicious hacker black hat hacker is the threat agent uh, he cannot just come and uh, and break things okay so he cannot break into a system uh, just because he he wants to he has to find a vulnerability that is related to this threat for example um, existing technical vulnerability in the filtering user input can allow uh, breaking into the backend and dumping the database yeah there is a whole class of uh, web application vulnerabilities SQL injections and if the application does not correctly process user input it can be broken into okay so in this situation this vulnerability is exploited by the threat agent okay uh, another another weakness in an application another type of weakness is called flaw and uh, is different from vulnerability uh, in terms of uh, the level of abstraction right so uh, let's say we have uh, a plan right we build a plan how to create a secure system and if we uh, do not for example um, provide an authentication mechanism for a system that does contain sensitive information confidential or private information we introduce a flaw okay so at some point we have made a wrong design decision yeah so we just uh, on a principal level did not employ a method for providing system security but if we have decided to introduce this authentication mechanism but while implementing it we have uh, introduced a technical error yeah so misconfiguration or uh, this lack of user input uh, filtering and protection from from putting special characters into user input we have introduced a vulnerability and in this way we can create a situation when our authentication process can be completely circumvented right issue is just a fancy way to generalize over flaws and vulnerabilities so whenever we have something that can decrease security level of a system we call it issue it's a very like auditor type of word what is exploit? Exploit it's either an automated or manual way to take advantage of a vulnerability. Okay, so uh, threat agents use exploits in order to exploit vulnerabilities. That's that's what happens when they hack things. Okay, so say you are an ethical hacker and you uh, have permission from the system owner to find vulnerabilities and then validate them and then exploit them. Uh, everything what happens can be automated and in this way you create exploit code what is attack uh, attack is another high level term that is defined as uh, threats basically uh, becoming actual 
to the target uh, through exploiting a vulnerability. Let's put it like that. So attack is an act, right, of threats actualizing for the system in forms of exploits taking advantages of vulnerabilities. So in order to attack, uh, for attack to happen, uh, we have to have a threat. We have to have a threat agent if this attack is intentional, right? Uh, we have to have a vulnerability in the system that is related to this threat, and we have to um, use uh, to either use or not uh, the exploit because we can automate it or we can uh, do things manually, which is deemed more professional hacking community. Okay, so what is the risk? The risk uh, risk is a product of two values. Yeah, so risk is a combined value of probability. And impact. Uh, we take probability in terms of like actual mathematical probability. That's the uh, value from zero to one, uh, which is never zero or one, right? And uh, we multiply it uh, with uh, the impact that uh, an actual attack can uh, can can cause, right? So the effectiveness of a certain threat uh, is uh, uh, measured in this risk value which is a product of probability and impact. Uh, this is essential in order to understand how we further uh, act in order to make our stuff more secure which is uh, which we will discuss shortly. Okay so incident uh, is actually bad things happening to us. So when attack happens or when anything goes wrong in terms of security, we have an incident. So incident is uh, normally indicated by the number, the series of security events, like someone is trying to brute force into the system. We see that in the logs, multiple um, attempts, multiple failed attempts to authenticate to the system and then uh, suddenly this all stops, right? And we have uh, from the same source with the same user agent, for example, in the browser, we have uh, a successful login attempt, which is a clear indication of security incident happening right now. Then we have uh, positive things that affect the security posture, right? We have countermeasures or controls, which can be of uh, three basic types. They can be either physical or logical or organizational. Yeah, so this physical or logical, uh, also known as technical, and the organizational controls, they are aimed at lowering the risk. Okay, so they do either decrease the probability of incident happening or they limit the impact or they do both to some extent. Okay, so the countermeasure or control uh, is a way to limit the risk, to lower the risk. There are also either things you can do with risk. You can, for example, you can transfer the risk, right? You can just redirect all the losses to your insurance company if they will to sell you a product. Uh, or you can uh, just avoid the risk. For example, patching or uh, applying security update to a technical vulnerability basically uh, lets you remove the risk altogether. There are certainly some other vulnerabilities, but the risk associated with this exact, this very vulnerability uh, is removed. Okay, And uh, of course you can just accept it. There are risks that are either very rare so the probability is low or they are very limited in impact so you can just uh, you can just live with it for some time or forever